So let's learn to juggle with balls. Here's what it looks like. Let's start by taking one ball in your right hand. Using an underhand motion, you're going to throw the ball across your body so it peaks slightly above the left side of your forehead, like this. Picture an imaginary painting canvas, just like you did with scarves, and aim for those corners of the canvas. So let's practice throwing one ball back and forth, starting with the right hand. When you drop, just take your time picking up the ball, remembering to bend at the hip, and join back in when you're ready. So here we go from the right, and back to the other side. Nice job. Repeat, and back. Your first throw will be exactly the same as we just practiced. This time, when that first ball reaches its highest point, the corner of that imaginary painting canvas, you're going to throw the second ball to the other corner using the same motion. This is what it will look like. Throw, throw. Be sure not to rush that second throw. Wait until the first ball reaches the highest point before throwing the second. Take your time and relax. Try it with me. Throw, throw. Let's do some two throw reps, pausing to take a breath between every two throws. And this time, alternate the side you start on. First from the right, breathe and relax, and then from the left. Again from the right, pause and breathe. Now from the other side. Great job. Place one ball in the center of your palm and have the other resting in your thumb, index, and middle fingers, like this. Your first throw will be from the hand holding two, your right hand. Throw the ball resting in the front of your hand over to the corner. And when that peaks, just like you did with two balls, throw the ball from your other hand in the same motion to the other side. And when that one peaks, throw the third ball over to the other side and stop. Let's see how that looks. Ready to try it? Don't worry, this is where it gets fun. Relax and remember to breathe. Bend your knees slightly, abs in nice and tight. Here we go. Great job. Pick up any drop balls, take a deep breath, and let's try that again. Ready. Nice. Now, if you're hesitating to throw that third ball or not throwing it at all, count your throws out loud. When you say three, make sure you release that third ball from your hand. It doesn't have to be a perfect throw. It doesn't matter where it goes. The important thing is to get it out of your hand. So it'll be like this. One, two, three. Get that third ball out of your hand. Break yourself out of the habit of stopping at two. Let's try that together. One, two, three. Release that third ball. Here we go. One, two, three. Now, don't stop at three. Try to keep going and get as many throws as you can. 